Namaste, beautiful people. Welcome to AM Yoga Moves. My name is Anne Marie, and in this asana practice, we're going to be dedicating the class to the Yama Ahimsa, which is nonviolence. Um, I've done a tutorial on Ahimsa, so if you want to check that out, it's also on my YouTube channel. Before starting this this class, you're more than welcome to. Um, all I'd like to tell you before we start is. I'd invite you to practice uh, today from a place of love and compassion towards yourself, okay? If you have a block, we're going to need a block. And also if you have a cushion, um, at the end of the class, we're just going to be laying down a little bit uh, while opening the heart chakra. So uh, make sure you have some sort of cushion to just elevate a little bit your chest, okay? So let's get started, everybody. Have a great class. Enjoy. You can get settled in on your mat in seated position. You can sit on a block to make sure that your spine is nice and straight. You can cross the legs. You can bring the hands together in prayer in front of the chest, in front of the heart, and close your eyes. Take a second here to just check out, scan the body. If you have areas of your body that are more tense or maybe injured, just sending that love and compassion to that area of the body. So the heart chakra, the anahat chakra, as we say in Sanskrit, is associated with the sound Ram. And the word Ram means basically to just accept and to be pleased with whatever is. So don't try to push away any sensation, any emotion, any thought that you the mind really is telling you, I shouldn't be feeling or thinking this. Approach this class with the word Ram in mind, which means in full acceptance. In full openness. You can also visualize the color green. Just associated with nature. And if you take a walk in a park where you see trees, you'll notice that they just stand still no matter the weather, no matter what's happening. They're just still. So try to be still like that tree. Open your eyes, bring your hands onto your knees. We're gonna breathe in cat and cow, but from seating posture to begin, okay? So inhale, stretch your heart forward. Look up, shoulders back. Exhale, round the back, navel towards the spine, look towards your navel. Let's just repeat this a few times. You can do it at your own rhythm. So as you inhale, extending the chest forward and up, shoulders back, tailbone back. And exhale, rounding the spine, navel towards the spine, looking in towards your navel. One last time, inhale, chest up. Exhale, round the back. Now inhale, coming back to neutral. Bring the right hand to your right. Just fingers touching the ground. Inhale, lift the left arm up. Look up towards your left hand. Your palm should be facing your, so you can see your palm. Inhale, stretch up. And exhale, bend to the right. 
So opening the left side of the chest, keeping both sit bones on your block, making sure you can breathe gently through the nose. The breath is always a priority. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, maybe bend to the right slightly more one last time. And as you inhale, come back up. Look forward and bring the left hand on the left side. Fingers touching the mat. Now inhale, right arm up. Look up towards your palm, your right palm. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, bend to the left. You're looking up. If that hurts your neck, however, feel free to turn the gaze and you know, facing front or to the ground. Always respecting your limits. In this theme of non-violence, ahimsa, we're here to heal our bodies. So we don't want to be overdoing it. We don't want to be underdoing it. Now inhale, stretch up one last time. Exhale, bend to the left. Opening the right side of the thorax. Inhale, come all the way up. And both arms down. So you can just come forward on the knees. Remove your block. And let's start out in child's pose. You can spread the knees a little bit wider than your mat. Make sure your big toes are touching. Bring your hips down. Hopefully they can touch your heels. If not, not a problem. Extend the hands forward. Your hands can be shoulder width. And bring your forehead onto the mat. So we're gonna do three cycles of breath here. Pranayama breathing. We're gonna inhale for four. Hold for four. Exhale for four and hold on the exhale for four as well. We're gonna do that three times, okay? So just start by exhaling gently the air through the nose. Now inhale for one, two, three, four. Hold for one, two, three, four. Exhale for four, three, two, one. Hold for four, three, two, one. Inhale for one, two, three, four. Hold for one, two, three, four. Exhale for four, three, two, one. Hold for four, three, two, one. Last time, inhale one, two, three, Four, hold for one, two, three, four. Exhale for four, three, two, one. And hold for four, three, two, one. So from child's pose where you are, from Balasana, inhale and come on to all fours. Just make sure that your knees are underneath your hips from here on out. Now, exhale into cat's pose. So round the back, look towards your navel. Inhale into cow posture, tailbone towards the sky, belly sinks towards the mat, look up. Exhale into Ashtanga Namaskara, so chest down between the hands on the mat. Inhale, push forward and up into cobra, hips stay on the mat, and exhale back into balasana. Okay, let's do that twice more. So inhale onto all fours, exhale into cat, rounding the back, navel towards the spine, inhale into cow, tailbone towards the sky, belly sinks toward the mat, exhale, ashtanga namaskara, chest on the mat, between the hands, inhale, push forward and up into cobra, exhale, balasana. One last time, inhale onto all fours, exhale into cat, tuck the belly in, inhale cow, belly towards the mat, tailbone towards the sky, look up, exhale ashtanga namaskara, chest on the mat between the hands, 
Inhale, push forward and up. Cobra, pelvis stays on the mat. Exhale, child's pose. Now inhale, come onto all fours again. Tuck the toes and come into your first downward facing dog. You can walk your dog if you feel like doing so. Breathe through the nose, suck the belly in, hips pushing back and up. And from here, let's just walk the feet forward between your hands at the front of your mat. Forward bend. You can grab your elbows here, or just let the hands hang loose. And just shake out your body a little bit, shake it out. Do a yes and no. Shaking that upper spine. Yeah, there you go. And on your next inhale, come all the way up. Flat back, spread the arms out. Palms to the sky, palms together. And exhale, hands down in Namaskara and arms to the sides of the body. Okay. So we're going to do a series of postures of flow using the classic sun salutations, the Hatha sun salutations. So just anchor yourself on the mat, feet, weight distributed equally in the feet, lifting the quadriceps up, pelvis tilted slightly forward, navel in towards the spine, shoulders relaxed. Inhale, stretch the arms up to the sky interlace the fingers, turn the palms up to the ceiling, okay? From here, inhale, stretch up, exhale, turn to the right, okay? Now take another inhale, stretch up, and exhale, do a slight back bend, so it's a twist with a back bend, go gently, contract the lower abdomen, pushing the pelvis forward, chest up, Now inhale, come back up in the twist. Exhale, face forward. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, come all the way down. Flat back, hands on each side of the feet, forehead to the shins. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands, right foot back, right knee on the mat, top of the right foot on the mat into a low lunge. Now inhale, bring both arms up. And exhale, back bend. So push the hips forward, chest up, try to look up. Inhale, come all the way up again. Exhale, twist to the right, extending the arms parallel to the ground. Inhale, stretch the spine up. Now as you exhale, see if you can bend back Maybe some of you will be able to touch your heel and bring the left arm over and up. So back bend, opening the heart. Push your chest up towards the sky. Breathe in deep through the nose. Excellent. Now inhale, come back up in your twist. Exhale here. Inhale. Bring both arms up, facing forward. Exhale, both hands to the front, besides the left foot, on each side of the left foot. Tuck the right toes and bring the left foot back into downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up, three-legged downward dog. Exhale, bend the right knee and stack the right hip on top of the left. From here, reverse your, do your dog. So what we're gonna do, if you need to bend your left knee to bring, able to bring your right foot as high as possible on the ground, you can do so. Now push the pelvis up, push the chest up, bring the right arm up and over, and you're looking towards the palm of your hand, which is facing the ground. Breathe. One last inhale, stretch up. 
exhale, right hand back on the mat, come back up into three-legged downward dog, and as you exhale, bring the right foot forward between both hands, left knee on the mat, top of the left foot on the mat. Now inhale, bring both arms up into a low lunge, and as you exhale, back bend. So push the pelvis forward, chest up towards the sky. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, twist to the left this time around. Arms parallel to the floor, okay? So if you weren't able to do it on the other side, that's all fine. Just see if you, how much you can open that heart to bend a little backward and imagine, at least imagine, for those of you that can come and grab the heel with your left hand, do so and stretch the right arm up and over, palm facing the ground. Push your chest up, look up. Excellent, inhale, come back up in the twist. Exhale here, inhale, turn and face forward, bring both arms up. Exhale, hands forward on each side of the foot, tuck the left toes and bring the left foot Forward in a forward bend, Tadasana. Feet together. Inhale, come all the way up, flat back. Stretch the arms up, palms together, look up. Exhale, hands down in Namaskara, and arms to the side. So let's do the same sequence on the other side. Inhale, stretch the arms up, Interlace the 10 fingers, turn the palms to the ceiling. <clears throat> Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, twist to the left. Keep the hips squared. Inhale, stretch up again. Exhale, do a little back bend. So twist and back bend. Feel that nice stretch in the right side of the rib cage. Feels so good. Make sure your pelvis is forward, your lower abdomen is contracted. Weight in the heels. Inhale, come back into the twist. Exhale, face forward. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, release the hands, bend from the hips, flat back. Hands on each side of the feet, forehead to the shins. Inhale. Flat back, exhale, plant the hands, this time left foot back, left knee on the mat, top of the left foot on the mat. Inhale, bring both arms up. <clears throat> exhale, back bend. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, lift up the spine. Exhale, try to bring the left hand on the left heel and open the chest towards the ceiling. Look up, chest up. Now inhale, come back up into that twist. Exhale in place. Inhale, turn to face forward, both arms up. Exhale, hands forward on each side of the right foot. Tuck the left toes and bring the right foot back into downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot up, left leg up. Exhale, bend the knee, stack the left hip on top of the right. Now let's try to do the flip the dog on the other side. So if you needed to bend your right knee, to order, in order to bring your foot on the mat, do so. It's not a problem. Do what you need to adjust. Push your hips up, chest up. Trust yourself. And breathe. Good. Let's reverse the, this, this sequence. So as you exhale, left hand on the mat, left leg up into downward facing dog as you inhale. Exhale, left foot forward between the hands, right knee on the mat, top of the right foot on the mat. Into a low lunge. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, back.
backward bend. Push the hips forward, chest up. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, twist to the right. Good. Inhale here in the twist. Exhale, bend back. See if you can bring that hand close to your heel. Bring the left arm all the way up. Open the heart, chest up. Breathe through the nose. Now as you inhale, come back up into your twist. Exhale here. Inhale to face forward, both arms up. Exhale, hands forward on each side of the left foot. Tuck the right toes in and bring the right foot forward. Tadasana, feet together. Excellent. Inhale, come all the way up, back straight. Palms together, look up, and exhale, hands and namaskara in front of the chest and then on each side of the body. From here, bring both of your hands on your lower back, pinky fingers touching, thumbs on the outside, bring your elbows in closer together behind you, bring the weight in the heels, lift the quadriceps, and just slightly push your hips forward to prepare for this back bend. So inhale, chest up, look up, and as you exhale, just bring the upper back slightly backwards. Once again, inhale, push your chest up, look up, inhale deep, and as you exhale, bring the upper back backwards. Now inhale, come all the way up, and bring the hands to the sides of the body. From here, let's move into dancer pose, Natarajasan. So transfer the weight onto your left foot, left leg stays completely extended, and just keeping your hand in neutral position, so palm against your thigh, the outside of your thigh, grab the outside of your right ankle. Bring both of your knees together as much as possible. Suck the belly in, lift the chest, and lift the left arm up. Palm of the hand facing forward. Inhale, stretch the chest up, and as you exhale, just start pushing in to your right hand with your right leg, bringing the right leg up as high as possible, again without overdoing it. So it's not so much bending forward with the upper body, but more so just lifting the right foot towards the sky. Look forward, fix a point, excellent. Breathe through the nose. Now from here, if you need to bend your left leg, do so. And just try to bring your left hand on the floor, still while holding your right foot. Now extend again the left leg. Your left hand could be on a block if you need a block. And from here, we're going to go into Chapasana. So just start pushing on your foot again to open up that right chest, right hip, Breathe through the nose. Very good. Now release your right foot. Extend the right leg back, pushing through the heel, right arm up. So now we're in half moon. You can look to the floor or try to just turn your gaze to the right. Again, keep breathing. Extend through that left leg. Both legs extended, making a perfect 90 degree angle with your legs. Inhale, stretch the right leg, right arm up. And as you exhale, bend the left knee and come all the way back, trying to stick your landing. So right foot back to come into warrior two. From here, bring the arms to the back, interlace the fingers, stretch the arms back and then up with your 10 fingers interlaced. Inhale, stretch the chest up, 
look up and as you exhale humble warrior so bring the chest down head towards the mat arms up and over okay so we're going to do that sequence twice more inhale come all the way up chest up look up and exhale come back into humble warrior head down arms over and up try to keep your left hip inward to keep the alignment between the left knee and the left hip inhale let's do it one last time come all the way up chest up look up and as you exhale humble warrior upper body down towards the mat legs arms up and over inhale come back up release the hands back into warrior two inhale here stretch up exhale bring the left hand forward between in front of your left foot right arm up so trikonasan parshva konasan actually variation of the triangle with the left knee bent now from here you can stay here however if you'd like to you can bring your left hand underneath your left thigh and see if with your right hand you can create a bind find your left hand with your right and from here just open the chest look up release right arm up left hand on the mat and as you exhale come forward bring the right hand on the right side of the left foot left hand on the left outside of the left foot pivot on to your toes right toes coming into a high lunge keep the tips of the fingers now on the mat and inhale just open your chest forward as far as if it'll go and then exhale bring the right foot forward next to the left forward bend to dasan inhale come all the way up flat back suck the belly in palms to the sky palms together look up stretch up and exhale bring the hands down in namaskara and then to each side of the body let's do this variation on the other side so transfer the weight now into your right foot right leg keeping the palm of the hand on the outside of the left thigh see if you can balance and grab a hold of your left ankle from outside just find your balance find your gaze right leg stays completely extended as you inhale bring the right arm up palm facing forward on your next inhale stretch the chest up and as you exhale just start pushing the left foot in the left hand chest open so you're pushing out through your chest pushing through the left foot up to create a nice bow shape in this natrajana sana pose good and from here if you need to bend the right leg and start to just bring your right hand down onto the mat however you can this is not easy so be compassionate with yourself extend the right leg now and moving into chapasana so you're pushing still into the left hand with your left foot and just opening the hips opening the chest now gently release the left foot extend the left leg back so now moving into half moon legs making a perfect 90 degree angle if you want to test your balance you can see if you want to you can move your gaze to the left both arms extended very good pushing through that left heel and then gently start bending the right knee and bring the left leg completely back try to stick your landing to come into warrior 2 okay so 
pivoting that pelvis forward so that your hips aren't sticking out. Imagine there's a wall there, gently pushing you forward. Extend the arms. <laughs> and from here, again, interlace the fingers in your back. Try to switch the interlace from what you did on the other side. Extend the arms back and up. Inhale, chest up, look up, slight back bend. And exhale, humble warrior. Bring the upper body down. Extend and push through that back leg. Inhale, come all the way up. Keep that forward thigh parallel to the mat. Chest up, look up. Exhale, let's do it again. Bend forward. One more time, inhale, come all the way back up. Chest up, look up. And exhale, humble warrior. Bend forward, upper body towards the ground, head touching the mat maybe one day. Inhale, come all the way up. Bring the arms back up in warrior two. Inhale, stretch the upper body up. Exhale, right hand now inside of the, red, the, the right foot. Remember, use your block if you need to. Left arm up, look up to the left. Parshva Konasana. Triangle. And you can stay here, or you can try to lift that right arm off of the ground. Bring your arm under your right thigh and see if you can create a bind. And then just twist and open the chest to the left. Right hand back down, left arm up, inhale here. As you exhale, bring the left hand forward on the left side of the right foot. Right hand now, place it on the right side of the right foot. Pivot onto the back toes. Now if you want to, just come up on the fingertips. Inhale, chest up, look up, and exhale, left foot forward to join the right. Forward bend. Just stay here for a second, either grabbing your elbows or just leaving the arms fall where they may. If you need to do yes, no with your head, that's fine. Extend the exhale if you feel that you're, you've lost your breath a little bit. And again, check out what your mental discourse is, are you being too hard on yourself? Are you coming down on yourself? Don't do that. Find another sentence to replace that sentence that's not serving you. And replace it with a positive statement. And the more you repeat it, the more it's going to sink in and create that new positive pattern. Good. We're going to come up with a rounded back, so contract your lower abdomen, micro bend the knees, keep the upper back rounded, and as you inhale, come all the way up. One vertebra at a time. Now let's spread the feet, width of the mat. You can pivot the toes slightly outward. We're going into a yogi squat. Bring the hands in Namaskar in front of the chest, in front of the heart. Inhale, chest up, look up. Exhale, come down, keeping the heels on the mat if possible. Coming down into that yogi squat. So triceps inside of the knees of the thighs. Just stay here for 15 more seconds. Breathe. Breathe through your nose. Now, try to come gently just sitting down without using your hands. You can just shake the legs out if you need to. Good. So we're gonna cross the legs and just come up onto the knees. 
Move backwards a little bit onto your mat. So you're in the center. Come up on the knees. So the hips, place them directly above your knees. Feet parallel, hip width. So all the ankles, knees, hips are squared. So we're gonna do a little heart opening flow, okay? Um, with a little back bend with the camel pose, okay? So bring your left hand on your lower back. Inhale, brush the right arm, keeping the palm, the right palm of the hand on the mat. Inhale and brush the right arm over and up and follow the gaze with your hand of your eyes. Exhale, come back up. Now switch right hand on the lower back, left arm out, palm facing the mat. Inhale, brush the right arm over and up. Follow it with your gaze. Exhale, come all the way up. Okay, let's do this a couple more times. Left hand on the lower back. Inhale, right arm over and up. Push the chest up. Exhale, come back up. Feels so good, right? Right arm on the lower back. Inhale, left arm brushes over and up. Follow your hand with your eyes, with your gaze. Left hand to the lower back. Inhale. Right arm over and up, chest up. Push that chest up. Exhale, come back up. Left hand, brush it over and up. Open the heart, push the pelvis forward. Exhale, come up. And last time, left arm on the lower back, inhale. Brush the right arm over and up, pushing your chest towards the ceiling. Exhale, come up. And last side, right arm on the lower, right hand on the lower back, inhale. Brush the left arm over and up, and exhale. Good, now let's come into child's pose, balasana. Take a little break here. Hmm. Place the point just between your eyebrows on the mat. Just checking out the effects of these heart opening postures. If it feels intense, just inhale that intensity, whatever sensation you're feeling. And on the exhale, just let it go, release. Now inhale, just come back up to a seated position, okay? Sitting on your heels, bring your knees together. So now we're gonna be opening the back of the heart through rabbit pose, okay? So this can be a little trick if you've never done the posture, so just take your time. So I'm gonna ask you to turn your palms forward as if you sort of, and then bring them back as if you wanted to put your hands in your pockets, in your back pockets, right? But you're gonna go a little, down a little lower to see if you can maybe just touch your heels so that your thumb is on the outside of your heel and your index finger on the inside, okay? So now inhale, chest up, look up, and as you exhale, I want you to bring your chin to your chest and roll the upper spine forward as you bend down and try to bring your forehead in contact with your knees. And as you can grab your heels from behind, do so. So forehead on the knees, tip of the head on the mat. And from here, start raising your hips up. So we're really opening the back of the heart here. It's normal if you find it a little bit more challenging to breathe. Just relax with it. As you inhale, push the hips up. Feel the point between your two shoulder blades just opening up. Arms extended. If you feel that you can walk your knees closer to your forehead, if you've lost the contact, do so. Good, and now inhale, come back up gently, unraveling the spine, back into seated pose. And again, let's go back down into balasana, child pose. Keep your knees together for this balasana. 
to see if maybe it feels different. Okay, so depending on how you feel, you can always open your knees wider or not. On your next inhale, come on to all fours. If you need to move back on your mat, do so. So we're gonna go into Anahat Asana. So heart opening posture once again, we're gonna be bringing the heart towards the mat. Make sure your hips are directly above your knees. And then just gently start to extend the arms forward and bring the chest down towards the mat. Now, if you need a block, you can always put a block underneath your chest. Make sure that you're not putting any unnecessary compression in your shoulder. So you're sort of rolling your um, armpits inward towards your face, opening the shoulder blades. And just feel the heart melting into the mat. Relax. So on the next inhale, transfer the weight forward on your forearms, belly on the mat. Now going into Sphinx. So your shoulders, your elbows, sorry, should be right underneath your shoulders. And with your forearm, feel that you're sort of sliding, pulling yourself forward, pulling your heart up towards the sky. You can look up or if your neck is a little sore, you can look down towards your chest as well. Good. And on your next inhale, come all the way down onto the mat. And we're gonna be working on floor bow. So bend your knees, grab your ankles from outside. We don't wanna have the knees wider than the hips. So imagine that you're holding a ball between both of your knees. Arms extended, make sure your thumbs are included in your grip. And on your next inhale, push your feet into your hands. Lift the knees up, lift the chest up, look up. And let's stay here for five. Inhale, one last time. Push up, chest up, legs up. Exhale, come all the way down. Now, turn onto your back. Okay. You can bring your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a little hug. Okay, so now we're gonna go on to bridge pose. So feet flat on the ground. Make sure your ankles are directly below your knees. Your knees, ankles, hip width. And now tilt your pelvis forward so that your lower back is in contact with the mat. Bring your chin in towards your chest. Arms flat on each side of the body, palms facing the ground. And on your next inhale, push the hips up towards the sky. Now, if you're still comfortable, you can interlace your fingers below your back and even further bring your arms underneath so your trapeze muscles are now in contact with the mat. So the idea here is to just be pushing your hips, or sorry, your chest towards your chin. Heart open. So hips up, your pushing through the quadriceps. Make sure your feet are still parallel. Stay here for three. 
two, one. To get out of the posture, unlace the fingers, palms on the ground. If you want to lift your heels off of the mat, that's fine. And just unravel the spine. One vertebra at a time. And bring your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a little hug. Okay. So for this second series, you can do bridge pose again. However, if you'd like to try the wheel, you can always do so. I'm going to guide you through it. So make sure your ankles, your feet are as close as possible to your buttocks. If you'd like, you can start with your heels off of the ground. I like to do that. It doesn't matter. You can choose. And now bring your hands up next to your ears. Your fingers should be pointing towards your shoulders. Okay? So find that nice grip from wherever you are. And you can do this in two steps. So the first step is just to push into your hands and see if you can bring the crown of your head on the mat. From here, push up. Extend the arms. Once your arms are extended, start pushing through the quadriceps to extend the legs, pushing the heart forward. And stay here for five. Inhale, push the chest out, pushing through the legs. Now to come out, chin towards the chest, gently come down, unravel the spine, one vertebrae at a time. Bring the knees in towards the chest. Give yourself a nice hug. Okay. To finish off, we're going to do a spine twist because it feels so good. And we're going to scoot the hips over to the right side, extend your arms out in T-shape. Cross your right leg on top and around of your left leg. See if you can create a bind. If you can't, it's not a problem. Inhale as you bring the knees towards the chest. Exhale, let the knees fall over to the left. And your gaze goes over to the right. You can stay here or bring your left hand on the outside of your right thigh if you'd like. You can start closing your eyes if you'd like to here. Relax. Maybe start noticing that, you know, there's a nice sensation of heat in your chest, in the front of your chest, in the back of your, your chest, from all the heart opening postures we've been doing. These types of postures can sometimes be very intense because we hold a lot of tension there in the heart, many emotions. So just accept whatever's coming right now and know that you've really done something good for yourself today. Now inhale, bring both of the knees back up, unwind the feet. You can scoot your hips over to the left now, cross the left leg over and try to create a bind behind your right foot with your left foot if you can. Inhale, knees to the chest. Exhale, let the legs fall over to the right. Look to the left. So try to keep both of your shoulders in contact with the mat. A priority, that's, that's the priority. So you're making sure that you're getting the twist from the upper spine, which is what we're trying to go for. Notice that when you let go, 
and don't try to hold on so tight. You can feel how lighter and more luminous you feel inside of yourself. So whenever we resist whatever is occurring in our lives, we try to push it away, whether it be an emotion, something happening. When we resist, that is the source of suffering. When we let go, well, things become so much easier. Inhale, bring both the knees back up. Unlace the feet. If you'd like to bring your knees into your chest, give yourself one last hug, and this time if you want to bring your forehead to your knees, do so. And as you exhale, come all the way down on the mat. Arms to the side, you can push yourself upward a little bit more to make sure your trapeze muscles are away from your, your neck and head just to ensure maximum relaxation. Spread out the feet. Now, you can do your savasana just like a normal savasana. For those of you that have a cushion, I'm gonna invite you to take your cushion um, and just put it on the mat. Okay. So sit. And make sure that the cushion is basically um, starting just where your armpit is starting. So it's more on the upper chest, on the upper spine rather than the lumbar spine. Okay. And from here, you can extend the legs and just let the head fall back. If you also need a block, you can place a block behind and rest your head on the block. If your head can go all the way down, do so. And then you can just... Let your arms relax and fall to the side. So let's just do one minute. For those of you that are doing heart opening, we're going to do one minute. And after that, we're going to remove the cushion and go into traditional savasana. So as you inhale, just naturally let the breath do what it feels like doing. However, if you feel like taking a couple of Nice deep inhales. If you can do that, fill the chest with air, and then on the exhale, relax. So for those of you that were in a hard opening posture, make sure you use your hands to lift up your, your head, okay? Assist yourself. And then you can just sort of roll down. And as you roll down, push the cushion away, the bolster away. Come back up onto your mat, extend the feet, arms to the side, now into traditional Savasana. So 
So there's this famous, well-known prayer from the Bible. And really it doesn't matter from which religion you are because all religions are spiritual. It's, in my opinion, you know, similar message being said in different ways. So the prayer says, God, give me the serenity to accept the, ch the things that I cannot change. The courage to change the things that I can. And the wisdom to know the difference. When I was starting on my spiritual journey, I thought that, you know, letting go meant that you do nothing. And I know that's not the case. It's about doing everything that you can, but also accepting when you've done everything and the results aren't necessarily what you expect them to be. Comes back to the word Ram, which I was referring to at the beginning of the class. Is Ram is just, you are in harmony with whatever is occurring, whether that be in the body, or something that you're observing. Be loving, be compassionate, and be serene. No doubt if you cultivate that, you will find peace. Feel free to stay in Savasana for as long as you like. If you're ready to get up, do so very gently by taking the opportunity to turn to your right side, take a pause, and then come back to seated position. Thank you for coming everybody. I hope you enjoyed. I'm sending you lots of love, lots of energy. Namaste.